Good morning. <laughs> it is February 16th, 2021, and we are snowed in with no power. It is super cold outside. I mean, so many places, thousands of people have lost power. We eventually lost power last night, and it's just not fun. It is cold and I have the water running because where we live, it is recommended that you let the water run because otherwise the weather will freeze the pipes and it'll burst. So we have to kind of keep the water running. But right now, um, my husband and I are gonna be going out to the car so I can charge my phone because it's practically dead. <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna charge my phone in the car, get some heat and then also um, just drive around and get some breakfast and we'll see how the day went. I've prayed, <laughs> we've prayed that the Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way because these are, it's in moments like this where we really appreciate the things that we have, you know, the things that we tend to take for granted. So anyway, we'll We'll see, we're trusting the Lord for the best today. But one thing I love is that like the Lord gave me a verse this morning, Genesis 28 verse 15, where he talks about, I will be with you wherever you go. And it's just so encouraging and uplifting, just knowing that even in this moment, he is with us and he will work all things out for our good. So talk to you guys later. There's a lot of snow. Ugh, my hands are frozen. I can't even like touch anything right now. It is super cold. We're on our way to the hotel. We finally got <laughs> one hotel yesterday that we booked for one night, but we most likely will need extra nights because the way that things are looking, there's no specified time that power will come back so we'll probably hopefully we get an extension at the hotel but um, thank god at least we get to go <laughs> um, yeah
Okay, you all, so something really interesting happened to us. This morning, the goal was for us to um, go to this hotel that we finally were able to book last night. And so we're excited, right? So we eventually head to the hotel and maybe within five minutes of being there, guess what? They lose power. And we're just like, what? <laughs> Like, we just left home because we didn't have power. And now we come here and the hotel just lost power. So the young lady, she asked, basically she told us that it's, their power has been going on and off. Um, and it'll likely come on within four to five hours. So at this point we're like, well, it doesn't really make sense for us to stay here because we need power. Um, and so basically we just my husband started calling looking online to see what he would find and then eventually he found a hotel and now praise god we're on our way there we're just a few minutes away um and so hopefully this thing doesn't repeat itself hopefully this new hotel has a generator that is operating and that they have consistent power because it, it's it's it, it really has been quite an adventure mm -hmm. and um we're just praying that <laughs> things just you know come back to normal Shall be pretty soon um, my husband has just been really like annoyed by <laughs> texas drivers because i mean of course texas is not used to this kind of weather so like even on the highway people are literally like driving like turtles which is understandable because it's icy and it's snowy so you really can't drive as you would on a normal day but he's coming from a state that you know is very used to snow so for him it's just like come on let's keep it moving but anyway we're gonna also try to get something to eat because we're both very hungry and being hungry on top of all of this stuff is just really not a good combination. And my so, wife doesn't smile when she is hungry. <laughs> well, anyway, being hungry is just not, you know, I just, I need to eat. Yep, so, I keep it positive. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, so we're a few minutes there, so we'll keep you all updated. Okay, bye. So we are right now at in front of 7-Eleven. Usually 7-Eleven has like hot food. So we came over here <laughs> thinking that there would be hot food, but there's nothing. So just got some bananas and some Pringles. And then also we went to a different store. I don't remember. I think that was Quick Trip and they also have no hot food i try to use the restroom but i think they said they don't have boiling water so they can't let me go to go into the bathroom um thank god 7-eleven had a functioning bathroom so but over there in quick trip i got a few things so i was able to get these yogurts um, parfaits and i got a vanilla one and a strawberry one and also a bowl of fruit. Woo. I hope it tastes good. 
but sometimes fruits can be a little funny anyway so oh by the way we went to this new hotel and they had also just recently lost power um, but according to my husband their power is a little bit more consistent in terms of when it comes on and off he said that they told him that um, it, it goes off for about 45 minutes but then it comes back on it stays on for about two hours so that's a little bit better than the other place he didn't check in because their computers are down um, and the story about that <laughs> is that apparently the Lord really worked that out for us to get that hotel because my husband said when he went in there apparently the, there wasn't supposed to be an opening until Sunday but they had some sort of a glitch like somebody canceled or something and so the room that we got actually became available <laughs> so we ended up just calling at the right time and were able to get that room so praise god it really has been quite an adventure but we thank god you know there are points where i'm like you know what i thank god for this i thank god for that because there are people who really have it worse and I'm just grateful that at least, you know, we have our car that we can, you know, get some heat from and also like get some food and get warm clothes, you know. So even in the midst of all of this, there are things to be thankful for. And sometimes when we focus so much on the negative, we lose sight on all of the positive, you know, all of the good things that are happening that God is doing for us um, in the midst of this chaos. And so... Um, we're just praying and just trusting him and we just believe that everything will will come to an end in terms of this loss of power etc all right we'll keep you all updated <laughs> So we are now in the hotel and finally, finally, um, and we've both just freshened up. I feel really good. Like I can't even tell you how grateful I am of just this room. <laughs> Hot water, warmth, <sighs> just it feels amazing. Like we honestly don't realize how valuable these little things that we do on a daily basis are until they are gone you know um so honestly i'm just super duper grateful to god for just life and warmth and hot water and god is amazing we got this place um by miracle really um so we're really grateful Right now we're gonna go and get something to eat. So we still have not been able to actually have a full meal. We've just had like snacks here and there, but um, we're gonna go and try to get something for real to eat because we both need <laughs> like a real, 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 real meal. Um, anyway, so, uh, so in the middle of all of this, I have to still work because um, I had to call some of my patients to make sure that they're okay and then document on that. And so this afternoon, I called a few of them um, and so far they're doing well. So tonight after I come back from dinner, um, I have to do my charting on those patients that I called. And then also tomorrow, I think tomorrow I might be able to go out to see some of those patients. I actually have an admission tomorrow. so. We have to, after we eat, we have to go back to our apartment and try to get some stuff out of my work car that I need for tomorrow if I am going to go and see these patients. Thank God at least we have a warm place to stay and at least that's off of our mind, you know. Um, so yeah, so we'll talk to you all later.
cold. Good morning, you all. So, praise God. Finally got a warm place to stay overnight. So, last night was able to do some charting on the ones that I did call. Um, so, that was good. I felt productive last night, work-wise. <laughs> um, so, this morning, I am about to be on my way to work. I'm praying that the Lord will keep me on the roads because... I mean, I've heard that roads have improved because up until yesterday, roads were not being plowed or anything. Like, you were just driving through snow, which over time becomes icy and all of that. Let me actually start this car because I need to get it to be warm. Um. Anyway, so I... Where's the key? <laughs> Where's my key? Found the key. Let me turn this car on because so I can turn the heat on. I'm going to be seeing four patients today. Um, all of them basically are at an assisted living. <clears throat> so we see a lot of patients at assisted living facilities. Two of them are in the same place and the other two are in different places. So I'm going to go to the first two first who were in the first place and last night when I checked the first two are actually like about 10 minutes away from us which is great so I'm gonna go over there and then I'm gonna go over to um, the next one and one of them actually lives um, close to where we live um, and so once I go and see her I'm gonna go over to our place and Make sure I turn off the lights that we left on before the power went out. This has been such an adventure, but it's something that one day I would love to tell. Like, it's a story that I would just love to tell, you know? All right, so anyway, let's head out. <laughs>